Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I want to show you how to remedy a WordPress error 414 uh, which is essentially you're trying to process or execute a URL that is too long or contains too many parameters, so it says. Um, and so we're going to jump into uh, this tutorial today and I'm using kickstartcomtest.com which is hosted by, uh, I use InMotion um, hosting and so uh, it's pretty quick, pretty fast. You can click a link there below in the description uh, to learn more about in in hosting in in motion hosting. And in regards to uh, today's tutorial, so what I want to show you is so you can have and many times you'll have um, you know different parameters. And so anytime you have a URL with a question mark, the name of the parameter, and then equals the value of the parameter. So CID is the parameter and then the value for CID is the error at kickstartcommerce.com. Well, many times, especially today, you'll have many, many, many different um, parameters that can be appended one behind the other. After the initial, you'll always notice that it has an ampersand, ampersand sign um, or the, the and symbol uh, by, by some or what some would state to be. Um, you have those symbols and they just basically append each one, but there is a case to where you can have too many. Now, if you're using WordPress and you're using iTheme security, that's going to be, uh, you need to make sure that you're paying attention to when you're setting it up. What I mean by that is, so right now, if we try to go to this URL, perfect, we can. That's the way it's supposed to work. Now when we jump into the admin section of WordPress and go to security on the left hand menu and click settings, if you go to, um, I believe it is system tweaks, so go to system tweaks here, click configure settings. In these settings you can see I have uh, certain things already set up and I use iTheme security to keep my WordPress sites um, secure obviously from hackers and the like but when you're using it there is a selection here that says long URL strings and it says limit the number of characters that can be sent in URL oftentimes hackers obviously take advantage of long URLs and try to inject information into your database um, well, I initially had this selected, and so when we save it, so our settings are saved, when we go back to that page and refresh the page, a lot, nothing appears now. Um, and it took a little bit of time to actually figure it out, where if you go to, um, I believe, if you go to, let's see here, where is... Developer tools. So yeah, if you go to develop, and I'm using Safari, um, if you just go to develop there from the main menu and uh, click Web Inspector, actually, yeah, there it is, Web Inspector. And then you can pull it up a little bit and go down here to where it says console, or you can click console from um, the actual shell JavaScript console. Then refresh the page. And then you saw it actually, um, it was actually almost kind of like a little blip that appeared there. And let's see if we can. get it to actually preserve itself. Try again. There it is. So every time we load it, then you can see it says failed to load resource. The server responded with the status of 414 request you are too long. So when you run into this or you encounter this, um, and you're using WordPress and you're using iTheme security settings, then you'll need to go into the system tweaks, find the long URI, URL strings, uncheck that box, save it, 
And then when we go back, voila, now your WordPress site is working um, as it should. And so that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Now, if you're using, they also have other settings that um, I believe it's limit, I want to say it's limit. If you're using Apache, uh, you can go into the Apache config file and it's, I believe, limit uh, request line. And that's all uh, camel case, capital L for limit, capital R for request. Uh, capital L for line, space, and then put in an integer without any commas. Um, that will also, and you place that into the config file of the for your Apache server, that will also um, remove this type of, of an error. But if you're using WordPress, and like I said, I'm on InMotion hosting, and let's say you're using WordPress on Bluehost, uh, GoDaddy, InMotion hosting, and you're on Shared, um, server resources, then you will want to ensure that um, if you do run into a situation to where you're using iTheme security, then go make that change in iTheme security. If not, you're not using iTheme security and you run into it, you'll likely have to contact uh, your hosting provider and express to them that you'll need the request, the limit request line increased. Um, so that's how you uh, remedy a error code of 414, the request URI too long. Uh, feel free to drop me a comment if you're still running into issues. I'd love to hear from you, love to help you out. Uh, at the same time, be, be sure to visit kickstartcommerce.com, check out more uh, tutorial videos as, more, um, as well as more search marketing and domain investing information. So, till the next video, thanks and see you soon.